ropes and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you, wishing to construct a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build, but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching to battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our opening prayer. Into your loving hands, O Lord, we commend this webinar. Bless us all today who are present here. And bless also our guest speaker, Engineer Joshua Hernandez. Grant unto us necessary grace or prudence so that we be able to discern what is best way of journeying with our students in preparing their future. Lord, help us to constantly see those things in our life that keep us from loving you. As we identify that which prevents us in faith, give us courage and wisdom to choose you above all things. Jesus, we trust in you. Amen. St. John Baptist de Lazal, pray, pray for, for us. us. Pray Leave for Jesus us. in our hearts forever. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Sir Basta, maraming salamat po sa prayer and sa national anthem. So, good afternoon everyone. So, my name is Roland Lorenzo Ruben and I will be your host for today's webinar. And uh, I remember way back 2014 uh, when the school book was presented to us in a, in a forum and uh, the owner was there, Graham Glass. And one of the questions uh, brought to him was how to prevent cheating sa, sa online platform like Schoolbook. And uh, he mentioned uh, there are third-party that, that are available. Uh, pero, but, sabi niya, kahit na marami tayong platforms that would, you know, stop, somehow stop cheating in online platforms. And the best pa rin talaga daw ay yung value formation. Ayan. Kaya, <laughs> uh, ngayon, ngayon, this year, na-integrate ang Safe Exam Browser sa Schoolbook. So, siguro, this would answer our, our concerns with regard to online cheating. So, to introduce our speaker, uh, let me welcome Ma'am Claude.
Uh, hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, our speaker for today is a humble alumnus of our university. He's a former student and now a colleague under our College of Engineering, Architecture, and Technology. He's, he's an experienced and in, still practicing engineer in field of electronics communication engineering. He's affiliated in numerous companies and institutions that serve both private and public consumers. He's currently connected and had the privilege in working in higher education and as a researcher, researcher to the OST project that focus on testing measurement devices in semiconductor manufacturing. He is a skilled professional with strong education foundation with his master degree focused in mic microelectronics in this institution. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you our resource speaker, Engineer Joshua Fernandez. Good afternoon, po. Thank you, Ma'am Claude, for the introduction. Um, greetings, po sa lahat. I'm going to share to you um, safe exam browser and how we'll be able to utilize it in giving out summative assessments. So allow me to share my uh, PowerPoint with you, po. Is my ano po ba, presentation um, loading in your end? Can anyone confirm po? Yes po. Thank yes, you very sir. Much. Yes, po. yes sir. Yes sir. Salamat po. All right. So um, uh, this uh, presentation is entitled Safe Exam Browser for Summative Exams because as we know it, um, midterm exams are coming and the way we are um, situated uh, is we are uh, in the middle of a pandemic and we are only able to give out assessments online. Now, there are many issues that revolves around that, one of which is cheating. My personal take on cheating is that it cannot be eliminated, but we can discourage the use of it. Kasi sa kahuli-hulihan, it will be the values of the student that will determine if he or she will do it. So this is not something that we can control, That's, it's a variable. But we can set up parameters or we can set up situations wherein they will be forced to um, not choose cheating. Yeah. And that is the purpose one of a safe exam browser no? uh, as a tool for that. Now, um, my objective this afternoon is to is threefold. One, to introduce safe exam browser as an effective proctoring tool in giving out summative assessments. Second is to demonstrate uh, uh, safe exam browser capabilities in basic and advanced modes. So before I proceed po, I would like to invite you to download safe exam browser. It's an it's a software po. So you can Google it out, safe exam browser. I will type din po sa ating chat box yung website, safeexambrowser.org wherein where you can download the file okay now Can since it's a software hmm? sorry. since it's software Oppo, it has to be installed in uh, your computer in and in the student's computer pero pag nagbigay po kayo later on i will i will show it to you naman through a demonstration that you you don't ha have to necessarily uh, have a program safe exam browser installed in your laptop to give out assessments with safe exam browser. Yun po yung kagandahan sa kanya. But definitely, if you want our students to have an environment wherein unauthorized activities are limited, then we need to, uh, they need to install the software. Again, that's safeexambrowser.org. If you want to fill it out or go to the website directly, and then dun sa downloads, um, section, meron po doong latest version nila is um, SCP 3.01. Yun po yung latest. And that is, I think, 150-something MB uh, yung kanyang file size. Medyo malaki po. So kung medyo mabagal po yung internet nyo, you can opt yung second, yung lower version. That's, I think, 64 MB. Both will run naman. Uh, safe exam browser. So for you to, I think, better appreciate this, uh, later, I will be uh, demonstrating po an assessment <clears throat> that is safe exam browser enabled or required. And um, 
doon po sa mga lalahok sa ating demonstration mamaya ay makakagamit lamang po kapag kami installed na ng safe exam browser. So habang po ako ay dumadaldal dito, sana po ay dinadownload niyo na po yung safe exam browser para po mamaya ay uh, pwede po natin sabay-sabay na maipakita at magamit, makita. Now, uh, last, lastly, my third is to, I will try to share and suggest some practices to enhance the integrity of the summative assessment in addition to SEB. Um, in, in the, before the uh, semester started po, I was asked to draft a policy regarding summative assessments para po sa aming kolehiyo sa College of Engineering, Architecture, and Technology. As you all know, our college, most of the courses that we offer require or um, are licensure examination subjects. Mm -hmm. And um, pag licensure exam, uh, may licensure examination or board exam ang subject, we are required by CHED to maintain a passing rate so that we could continue to offer yung mga courses na in-offer namin. That is why, um, habang merong iba't ibang mga filosofiya ng edukasyon at iba't ibang mga perspektiba at pananaw pagdating sa pagbibigay ng exam, we are forced to give out objective type examinations because we need to maintain such kind of uh, standard and or a passing rate. So yun po yung rational behind why we are, well, hindi naman sobrang uh, <laughs> Uh, parang ano ba, uh, into giving out multiple choice questions, no? sobrang OA into giving out MCQs and or objective type um, exams. But uh, we are forced to do so because we need to maintain such standards. So uh, by the end, I hope to share some of those practices or, or the policy that I drafted po, you might be interested in. So let's jump right in. What is Safe Exam Browser? Safe Exam Browser po can be downloaded uh, on the link I have provided. I also have included, ay hindi po ata nag-load, pero meron po tayong access code. Yan po, chinat po ni Sir Roland sa ating pong uh, chat box. Yung access code po natin is IQZF-LNIU. I hope you enroll to that po because doon po nilagay ko din yung iba't ibang mga steps kung paano yun. So if in case ma-miss nyo man yung iba rito dahil medyo mabilis ako magsalita, pwede nyo pong balik-balikan dahil kinerate ko naman po doon yung some of the basic steps and some of the advanced steps for the uh, utilization of Safe Exam Browser in Schoolbook. Now, um, in-encourage ko din po kayo na mag-enroll doon maliban uh, hindi lamang dahil merong uh, evaluation doon, kundi meron din pong assessment akong ibibigay mamaya kung saan i-require ko yung safe exam browser. So kayo po magkakaroon ng first-hand experience on how the student, on how it will feel no, as a student, kung paano marireceive ng student yung assessments na ibibigay po natin as uh, proctors and or as instructors. So again, please download safe exam browser. And then later on, we'll do a demo on it. All right. Okay, here's a question. Can SEB be downloaded in our cell phone? Uh, di discuss ko po later kung ano lang po yung allowed. So, first, I would like to discuss what SEB first or Safe Exam Browser. Safe Exam Browser is a software. Kagadaan po sa kanya, it's open source. Ibig sabihin, it's free. Wala pong kailangang bayaran ng kahit sino. And not only that, uh, it secures exam computers for electronic assessments. SEB has a built-in Kiosk browser which connects to web-based examination systems. Sa so, makatawid, ang, kung, pwede ko kung susumahin ko po, ang Safe Exam Browser ay eh, parang Kiosk. Di ba ho, pag tayo ay nagpupunta ng SM, meron hong mga Kiosk doon na nakalak lamang doon sa gustong ipakita noong may-ari. For example, sa MOA, Kung gusto nila ipakita yung mapa, kahit anong pipindot ang gawin mo doon, hindi aalis siya doon. Nakalock siya doon. Ganon din po yung Safe Exam Browser. Ilalock niya yung laptop ng estudyante para hindi siya makaalis. So that he could not do any unauthorized activities outside of, outside of uh, what we have allowed. In this case, the exam. So hindi siya pwedeng mag-click kahit saan, hindi siya pumunta kahit sa ang website. Hindi siya pwedeng mag-Google. Tanging pagsasagot lamang ang pwede niyang gawin. So that's the chaos that we mean here. So, going a little bit deep no, in terms of technicality, basically, ang architecture ng Safe Exam Browser ay meron siyang kayos nga sa loob. And then, um, 
what it does is when it starts, it opens an internal browser and that internal browser connects to the learning management system. In our case, that's schoolbook. Basically, yun lang po yun. So don't uh, uh, be serious too much <laughs> sa architecture niya. Now, um, just to briefly discuss ko ano-ano yung mga nilalaman niya, um, yung Kaios po, yung Kaios application, it is the one that locks down the computer and starts the safe exam browser plus optional third-party application. So pwede nyo rin pong i-allow, for example, kung meron po kayong simulated experiment, for example, Multisim, you can allow that to be opened by the student or other uh, third-party applications. So that's uh, another benefit of this SEB. You can control which applications could be played or could be uh, opened. Uh, number two, the SEB browser loads and displays the, L the LMS exam page using the preset URL and doesn't show any navigation elements like address bar, search engine field, etc., etc. So yung browser po, yun yung nagko-connect papunta sa um, LMS natin, sa, sa schoolbook. Now, pagdating sa schoolbook, the LMS contains the schoolbook assessments which are used for online exams. Sa so, makatawid, doon po natin ilalagay yung ating mga tanong doon sa quiz at um, pwede po natin iset kung kailan siya ibibigay, igigive yung assessment. And then from there on, pagka-required na ng SEB, tanging doon lamang sa safe exam browser, matitake yung assessment. Hindi po nila yung matitake nang hindi ino-open ang safe exam browser. Now, ano-ano lamang po to answer the question of Dr. Alon, uh, Alon Sozana, ano-ano lamang po ang saan, saan po gagana lamang ang safe exam browser? Lahat po yan gagana maliban sa Android. Ang sad po. No? So pwede rin po siyang i-install sa cellphone, uh, sorry, sa mobile device. Yun lamang kailangan ang kanilang operating system ay iOS. Sa so, makatawid, Apple product. Uh, I think the reason behind this is because ang Android po is open source, so it could be cracked anytime. So ang iOS is proprietary, so mahirap siyang, well, pwedeng i-jailbreak, but the good thing about this software is that it could, it could detect kung jailbroken ba yung Mac, yung Mac product mo, yung Apple product mo, at hindi siya tatakbo doon kapag ka-jailbroken siya. So, saan lamang gagana ang safe exam browser? Siya po ay gagana lamang sa Apple products at sa Windows. Okay? So, kung meron po kayong Windows 7, pataas na operating system, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, magra-run po sa safe exam browser. Kung kayo po ay merong Mac OS, gagana rin po si Safe Exam Browser. Kung kayo po ay merong iPad at iPhone na merong iOS, gagana rin po siya doon. Actually, you can search Safe Exam Browser in the App Store. Yes. So, tatlo lang po ang gagana. iOS, Mac OS, and Windows. Now, allow me to discuss some of the general features of this software. Um, number one, it is managed web browser which can be configured using encrypted configuration files. Sa makatawid, uh, no one can access, kumbaga, peer-to-peer -peer lamang yung uh, pagbibigay ng access uh, sa studyante and encrypted siya. So may security. Pangalawa, using special hyperlinks, SEB can be started from other web browsers and reconfigured individually per exam. Ang advantage niyan, ang sinasabi lang po niyan, eh, flexible siya kasi by using hyperlinks, um, we can do a lot of, or we can remove a lot of um, activities pa. So click, click na lang siya, and then we can reconfigure it um, later on. Now, full screen mode. So ibig sabihin, they cannot really look at anywhere else or anything else rather than the screen that is being shown to them kasi full screen siya. Ito ang maganda sa kanya. For those, nagahang daw po. Okay lang. Sir Roland, am I... Is my connection yeah, good? Yes, sir. Or... Okay naman. Okay naman ah, on my end. Sige po. So, number four, VM detector. VM po is virtual machine. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka po nag -run, yung mga Apple products po, pwede pong mag ng Windows na operating system. Gumagamit sila ng virtual machine. Yun po yung tawag doon. Uh, ang kagandaan po sa Safe Exam Browser, kaya niyang i-detect kung may nagra-run na virtual machine sa kanya. So, hindi mo talaga siya pwedeng lokohin in terms of the operating system na ginagamit mo. Kasi pagka meron kang virtual machine open, you can simply uh, go back and forth sa 
um, different settings or operating systems na installed sa device mo or sa computer, laptop mo. So, uh, SEB detects whether it is running on a virtual machine or a jailbroken device and can refuse to start up. That's how good it is. What else? Number five, you, it can filter URLs. Okay? Yung pong uh, links natin no, to allow accessing only specific websites, pages, or resources. So, we can configure that. Uh, pwede pong configure natin na hindi lamang school book yung pwedeng i-access. They can also access a specific website. Let's say, for example, Science Direct, IEEE, uh, research uh, paper, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, research-based um, uh, organizations. You know, it, we can set that up and allow them to access it even during the exam. Now, number six, certificate pinning to prevent man-in-the-middle attacks on the connection to exam servers. In other words, um, yung pong connection is uh, ano lamang, uh, from one user to the server. So, walang middleman and it, uh, it prevents that middleman attacks by uh, because of its setup no, na directly siyang ko-connecta dun sa server, exam server. Number seven, para doon sa mga, actually hindi masyadong ito magagamit dahil ang uh, currently lamang ang pwedeng magamit for safe exam browser ay sa quiz. In other words, multiple choice questions. So for essays po, unfortunately, hindi po natin siya magagamit. Pero meron siyang spell checking and dictionary lookup na pwedeng i-enable or i-disable. No? And number eight, it has built-in connection to Moodle and others other LMS learning management system and can be used with basically any web-based examination system like Neo LMS. Okay. Now, ito pong uh, konti information patungkol doon sa mga gumawa ng Safe Exam Browser. It's actually a, a consortium that made this from Germany, from ETH Zurich or Zurich. It's Educational Development and Technology. Uh, it's an open source, so it's a group of people who are working on it and then um, uh, by membership. So uh, you can pay for the membership and yung institution actually um, can pay for the membership. Kung gusto nilang ilagay yung logo nila it's, and uh, i, uh, what do you call this? It's, it's customized. But for us uh, users, it's for free. So wala tayong babayaran sa kanya. Now, allow me to uh, go you through sa basic configuration ng safe exam browser. Napakadali lang po niya and later on, I hope ay ma-demonstrate ko po siya sa inyo, maipakita ko sa inyo siya kung paano ginagawa. Okay. Ito po yung nabanggit ko na kanina. Please take note that the proctor with safe exam browser is only available for quiz assessments. Hindi po pwede sa essay, hindi po pwede sa any other type of assessment sa ngayon. Uh, multiple choice questions lamang po sa ngayon ang po pwedeng magamit ang safe exam browser. Alright, so saan po natin, ma, paano po natin ma-enable yung safe exam browser? Pag po tayo ay nagpunta sa schoolbook and we have accessed the assessments, we can go to the proctor tab that is on the upper right hand po uh, side ng ating assessment. So for example, kung meron na tayong na-load na assessment, puntaan po natin yung proctor side. And then sa proctor side, Meron pong safe exam browser na section na nakalagay. Meron po dyang um, radio button or radio square or radio button, yes, that asks if it should require safe exam browser to complete the assignment. Upon checking po, in po ang mangyayari. It will uh, require nga the student. Ibig sabihin, kahit po ibigay ninyo yung assessment during the uh, allotted time, Hindi matitake ng estudyante yon maliban na lamang na buksan niya ang Safe Exam Browser. Ngayon, pag bukas niyo po noong require ng Safe Exam Browser, yun nga pong radio button natin, meron pong lalabas dyan na two options. Yung una is add passwords at yung pangalawa ay yung upload custom configuration. Okay? Doon po muna tayo sa add passwords, yun po yung ating basic configuration. Kasi wala ka na kayong ibang gagalawin pa, wala na kayong ibang i-open pa, Maglalagay lang kayo ng password, tapos good to go na. Apo. So, yun yun po yung basic configuration. So, let's go to add passwords. Pagka-click po natin ng add passwords, ang mangyayari sa kanya, ito po yung lalabas. Okay? Meron pong tatlong field na lalabas sa kanya. And it will ask you kung ano po yung password na gusto nyong ilagay. Student password, 
teacher password and then quit password. Yun pong student password, yun po yung password na i-input ng estudyante para ma-open nila yung assessment. Yung pong teacher password, yun po yung admin password. Kasi po magsisend po tayo sa kanila ng file and then po pwede po kasi nilang i-modify at i-open at i-edit yung file. Kaya meron po tayong admin password para hindi nila ma-modify yun. Okay. Now yung quit password po is yung password para maka-exit sila sa assessment. For example, kung gusto nilang kung tapos na sila at gusto nilang lumabas at ina-allow nyo po na matapos na sila before the end of the time, you can give them the quit password so that they could exit. Kasi otherwise, they are locked down doon sa safe exam browser and they have no way to close the program. Okay? Unless they pull the plug or they force shut down the computer. Okay. Now, here's an example. Naglagay po ako ng sample configuration. Student po ang password. Ang teacher password ko ay at teacher. Sample lang po ito. You can customize it based on your own personal preference. And then yung quit password is quit. Yun pong nakalagay na assessment na mamaya ko po i-give sa, sa school book ay merong student password na student. S small caps. Uh, so case sensitive din po siya. So uh, make sure that you uh, jot down or remember the password that you have assigned so that the students will be able to uh, have lesser time in uh, troubleshooting kung ano yung password. Most especially if they cannot get in. So case sensitive siya. So for example, ang student password ay student. Yeah. What else? Now after that, you click save. Okay? And then pag na-click niyo na yung save, boom, okay na, no? Lilitaw po itong uh, page sa inyo where it summarizes what has uh, been set already. Of which student password nga is student, teacher password nga is at teacher, and then quit password is quit. Sa lagay pong iyan, ready na po kayong ibigay yung assessment. Wala po kayong ibang binuksan, wala po kayong ibang in-enable, dun lamang sa Proctor at Safe Exam Browser at okay na. Okay? Now, ito po yung itsura niyan pagdating sa estudyante. The student view. When they open the assessment that has already been given, lilitaw po sa kanilang screen that the password is student. So, wala na po kayong problema doon. Kahit hindi nyo po sabihin yung password sa kanila, nakalagay po doon sa school book kung ano yung password for the student na inassign po ninyo. Pag po kayo mag hindi naman po pinapakita yung teacher password. Okay? Yung student lamang. So, makakaasa po kayo na dapat hindi na mangungulit yung mga estudyante na, Mama, ano po yung password? Sir, ano po yung password? Kasi naandun na sa assessment. Okay? Now, pag okay na po, they can click the take quiz using safe exam browser and then what will happen is that it will download ayan po makikita nyo on the screen it will download a file this is what we call a .seb file .seb file kasi po yung kanyang file extension ay .seb now napakaliit lamang po nito at hindi po magiging issue ito sa internet speed sapagkat ito po ay 3 kilobytes lamang Kahit po napakabagal ng internet connection nyo, ay tiyak po kayong makakapag-download ng file na ito. Now, pagbukas ho, pag click na pag-click ho nila doon sa file, dapat ho ah, dapat ang lalabas, ito na kagad, yung nakikita nyo po sa screen. What will happen is that the Safe Exam Browser program will open and then it will ask the password. It is the student password. Okay? So the student will key in the password. So for example, student. And it will click confirm and then boom. Ito na po yung magiging isura niya. Okay? Oops. Yan. Medyo hindi ko lang po ata ma-zoom. Okay, sorry. Dito, pero as you can see closely, pinicturean ko na lang po dahil ito ay aking unit or device na na-lockdown na. As you can see below, meron pong um, power button no, sa lower right. And then meron pong time din. And then... Ito po ay buong interface ng schoolbook. Hindi ho nila pwedeng i-click ang kahit ano dyan, kahit ho yung start, yung module, yung kanilang profile, yung messages, kahit ho ano, hindi ho nila po pwedeng i-click. Maliba na lamang sa choices, sa previews, at sa continue. Yun lamang po ang kanilang po pwedeng i-navigate. So ito po ang itsura pagbukas ng bukas ng sudyante. Pasok na kaagad sila. 
So kung naglagay po kayo ng time limit, let us say 90 minutes, pag-click na pag-click na nila at pagpasok na pagpasok nila, hindi na sila magla-login. Yan po yung kaganaan dito. No more logins. When they click the file, they, 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 they'll be automatically um, uh, they'll be automatically inside no? the safe or the assessment and then the time will start. Yon. So ganun po kaganda. Less yung process. Okay. Now, pag tapos na po si student, no, at uh, nasagutan niya na lahat ng questions, um, meron po dyang end quiz, and then pag kinlik po yung end quiz, ito po yung lalabas. Meron dyang safe exam browser, and then the quiz is over. You can, um, sorry, you can exit safe exam browser now. Ayan po. And then when they click, click exit, lalabas na po sila. Even without the quit password. Okay? Yan po. So, there are only two ways to, to exit the safe exam browser. That is after they finish the and when they key in a quit password. So two ways lang po. Yan lang po. Okay. Now, it, uh, yung pong that SEB file na dinownload ng sojante may expiration po siya. It can only be used once. So when they download it, um, they must uh, they must um, uh, click it right away and then uh, take the exam right away. Kasi pagka nag-quit sila and then they open the same file, ito po yung lilitaw sa kanila. Magsasabi, mag-notify that the SEB file is already expired and that the student needs to re-download. So for example, during the middle of the exam, bigla nang wala ng internet si student. Okay? And then nung nawala ng internet si student, uh, kailangan niya mag-quit. So pag nag-quit siya, um, ano mangyayari sa exam? Mapopost po yung exam and then hindi na maa-access uli ni student yung una niyang dinownload na .seb file. Kailangan niya ng gawin ay mag-re-download. Pumalik uli dun sa assessment at mag-download ng another file at pagka-click niya nun, babalik po siya kaagad doon sa um, exam interface and then after that, pwede na niya lang i-continue yung kanyang na-post na assessment kung magiging problema doon, kung ang ginawa nyo po ay 90 minutes yung, uh, or 1.5 hours yung duration ng exam, they can continue back if they miss, let's say, 5 minutes or 10 minutes due to internet connectivity issue. Yan. Pero hindi po siya gagana kung, syempre, ang nilagay nyo ay naglagay kayo ng set time. Let's say, for example, the duration of the exam is only from 1 to 2.30. Now, kung si student ay um, nag-quit bigla, um, and then bumalik, yung 2.30 pa rin, syempre, yung magiging end time. So, nasa sa inyo po yun, preference po yun, that you can set, or that you will set. Alright. So, um, I hope by this time, nakapag-download na po kayo ng Safe Exam Browser. To those na meron po, uh, I hope you join me, because I will be giving out an exam using Safe Exam Browser. I'm going to stop my presentation for now, and uh, I will be... Stop presenting uh, yes yan i will be uh, going po to school book and right now uh, yan po i hope you're already in uh, ito po yung access code wait lang please go to school book and then enroll this um Access code po. Yan. I hope you can see you can see my screen. Can anyone po confirm? Yes po. Thank you po. Thank you. So ito po yung access code. Please enroll now. IQZF-LNIU. Still downloading po. Okay po. And... Pwede naman po kayo mag-catch up later. Wala naman pong deadline itong ating assessment. Pero you can only access this if you have SEB in installed. So I'm going to give this assessment now. And hoping na meron kayong... Um, meron kayo nung... Uh, safe exam browser installed. So I'm going to share my screen po pala muna so I could show you how I set up 
Sige, share na lang yung second screen. Okay. So I'm here po sa school book. And I have here an assessment. Ito po yun, sample exam. I have not yet given this. So saan ko po pwedeng iset up yung safe exam browser? As mentioned, nandito po siya sa right-hand side. Unfortunately, hindi siya makita. No? You have to click the three, three dots and then go to Proctor. Okay po. So sa Proctor po. Again, go to the assessment po. And then go to Proctor. And then doon po sa Proctor, meron doon nakalagay na require safe exam browser. So doon po, I have already enabled it. I have required it. And as you can see, ito po yung teacher view. Um, meron siya ditong nakalagay na na summary, student password, and then teacher password, and then quit. So I'm going to give the assessment now and to those po na merong um, safe exam browser. By the way, uh, ano lamang, konting... Uh, um, Caution, kasi pagka po in-open nyo na yung safe exam browser, ang mangyayari, if a full screen niya yung inyong laptop, okay? So, ang makikita nyo lamang yung exam. Ang quit password po natin ay quit. So, pagkatapos na po kayo, 5 items lang naman, uh, 10 items lang naman po ito. So, pwede nyo pong i-check siya. Ang quit password po natin ay quit. So, kung ayaw nyo na, click nyo lang po yung power button sa may lower right. Okay? And then, i-key in nyo po yung quit at mag-quit na siya. So, bibigyan ko na po yung assessment so you could try. Ayan, I have already given the assessment. It has already been announced. And you can now take the quiz. Pagdating po sa student, ang magiging itsura po niyan ay ganito. Magiging itsura po niya ay ganito. Yan, eto po. Okay. So ito po yung lalabas sa kanya. No? Lalabas sa dialogue sa kanya is that the quiz is not time so you can pause assume any time. The password is provided and then meron ditong um, button that they will click and then upon clicking, magda-download siya ng file ng .sev file. Okay? Dapat po automatically, dahil associated na yung file with safe exam browser, dapat pag kinlik nyo siya, mag-open na yung application. Pero pag hindi, pwede nyo naman pong i-configure, i-open with. Okay? So, paano po yung open with? So, kung meron po kayo nung sev file, for example, this file, Okay, this is uh, that .sev file. Kung hindi po siya mag-open, ano po? Click nyo lang po yung right click. And then open with. And then po, choose another app. And then look for, I'm sorry, more apps here. And then po, hahanapin nyo kung nasaan yung um, executable file niya. So look for another app on this PC. And then yun po, hahanapin nyo kung nasaan siya. Most probably, nandun siya sa program files. And then, search na lang po, safe exam browser. Click nyo po. And then, application. And then, ito po, safe exam browser.exe. Pag in-open nyo po yan, magbubukas na siya doon. Okay. Yan po. So, in the case na hindi man po siya mag-open automatically, that's how you do it. You open with. Right click, open with, and then choose another app. Ayan po. So, that's basic setup. So, can I see po by still downloading po? Sir, excuse. Yes po, sir. Sir, doon sa school book na in-enroll lang ko sa safe exam, hindi ko makita yung sample exam na sinabi mo in-upload, in Aha. Naka-enroll po ba kayo, sir? Yes, sir. Naka nasa ano na ako. Ang nakikita ko lang kasi, safe exam browser overview, basic ex safe exam browser configuration. Pero yung, tapos yung number three, advanced safe exam browser configuration. Yung sample exam, hindi ko makita. Try nyo sa assessment, sir. Assessment. Click nyo po yung assessment. As assessment. Oh. Ah, ito. Okay, sorry, sir. Nakita ko na, sir, sa, 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 sa assessment. So, open to. Then, take quiz using exam browser. Sir Arnold. Yes, sir. Sir Josh. 
Yes, sir, sir Josh. Hindi kami matatanggal sa call pag nagtake ng exam or assessment. Actually po mala lockdown pero uh, ah paano pong matatanggal? Ah hindi po, hindi po, hindi po. Pag binoto niyo po 'yan, kasi hindi pa naman oh, tayo. Naka-call tayo. I-demonstrate ko po pa mamaya. Rin. On pa rin yung call. Yes, i-demonstrate ko po mamaya nandoon po sa advance kung paano yung pwede niyo even Teams, Zoom, Skype pwede nyong i-disable or i-force shutdown para hindi nila magamit. Kasi po pwede po silang mag-communicate through Discord, through voice chat. Oo nga eh. Kanilang laptop. So we can prevent that. Mm-hmm. We can set Uh-oh. kung ano yung mga programs sa bawal. Ah, okay. So, so for now po, I'm giving you uh, mga five minutes po. I hope some of you are already accessing it. Yes, sir. And are already doing, I hope you're enjoying the quiz. Ten items lang po yan. Halo po ng... Uh, Philippine Trivia at saka ng Algebra. Okay lang ba? <laughs> May passing score ba? <laughs> Wala naman pong passing score. So try nyo po para makuha nyo yung feel kung paano sa student ang, ang dating sa kanila. Ilan po sa mapapansin nyo ay Hello, hindi sir. Ilan, paano po kontakos na? Okay, i-upload ulit. Sir, ano ba yung password sa uh, exam? <laughs> student po, sir. Student. Ah, student, okay. Sir, pagtapos na po. Pagtapos na po, okay na po. Makita niyo po yung score niyo and then, yun lang po, parang ano lang, demonstration lang kung paano lang siya mararanasan. I mean, i-upload ba uli ng student sa ano? Ang alin, sir? I-upload ba nila ng student once na natapos yung exam? Kasi di ba dinownload natin yung file? Ah, wala na pong kailangan gawin. Kasi pag natapos na yung exam, may score na sila. Wala na sila kailangan gawin. Ah, okay. Ah, nandito po yan sa assessment. Tignan po natin kung ano yung mga grade. Ayan, meron na po. Sir Japet 2. <laughs> Sir Ma- si Ma'am Janeline 3. Ayan po. So, you can take it anytime naman po. Unlimited attempts din yan. Tinay ko lang. So, ayan. So, I hope uh, most of you po I, I can't enroll daw po si Ma'am Salvan. Ma'am Salvan, Catherine, okay na po kayo? Ayan po. So, two minutes pa po. By three. One minute. Last one minute. I hope you're trying po para you get to feel how it will look like pagdating sa student side. So, ang setup ko pong ginawa dito, meron akong test bank na ginawa. Algebra 100 items and then uh, Philippine Trivia 25 items and then I set it up such that uh, six questions will be taken from the Alphabet Philippines and then four questions will be coming from the Algebra 1 test bank. You can also do that po. So again, two ways po para mag-quit dyan. Either you finish the exam and then exit and then, or, sorry, you can uh, key in the quit password. Nasa lower right po. Yung sample exam po, Ma'am Salvan, ay nasa assessment po. So yung pag-quit kanina, uh, nag, nag-quit, pinindot ko yung quit na icon, then tinap ko pa uli yung ano, yung password exit password pero tapos na tapos ko yung exam yung, uh, dalawa talaga siya dalawang option siya sir yes po pwede niyo uh, one way uh, is wala hindi siya option nangyari parang ni-require ako na dalawa yung gawin ko click click yung exit then enter I ko pa think, yung password i think default yun ng ng uh, school book sinet up nila na ganun so i ah. think hindi natin makakonfigure yun na na pag hindi pa sila tapos ay pwede na lang sorry pag tapos sila ay wala tayong magagawa ata na sila ay hindi mag-quit or mag-exit so kung choice na nilang lumabas at natapos na nila yung exam i think hindi natin mapipigilan sir yes po ma'am sir paano po kung wala yung sagot doon sa choices ay kung wala po yung sagot <laughs> ano po just so, na lang po yung C. <laughs> Minsan po may type error ako. Pasensya na po. Just the best answer. 
Testing lang naman. <laughs> Testing lang naman po. Okay. Sorry, sorry po, sir. Ano number yun? Algebra ba, ma'am? Opo, eh. Nakubos na po. Sorry po. <laughs> sir, ibig sabihin, ano, one attempt lang talaga to. Depende po sa inyo. You can set it up na one attempt. Pero as per IRR, uh, alam ko po, uh, minimum of two attempts. So, so after, if ever naka two or more attempts, uh, after they submitted, uh, and they decide to repeat again, uh, active pa rin yung exam para sa kanila. Yes po, depending po sa pagkakaset up ninyo. Kasi you can set it up such that... Um, you can set a due, a hard deadline, wherein mm. pagka nag-end siya by, let's say, 2.30, it will end automatically by 2.30, finished or not finished. Another uh, way is to do a timed assessment. So kung gusto niyo naman po 90 minutes, let's say, for example, si student ay nasa kalagitnaan, and then <clears throat> he or she um, were uh, in a technical or internet connectivity issue. So he or she can go back na hindi na apektuhan yung kanyang time. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Yes po, ma'am. Yes um, po, Dr. Antoine. Yung ma'am, di ba? I am here. Take pay quiz using SEB. And then, tama ba yun na it will be downloaded? The quiz? Sorry po, ma'am. Hindi ko po masyado narinig. Hindi. Di ba? I am now here. Sabi na, take the quiz using SEB. And then, Na ano siya, they download siya, open ko siya, hindi siya ma-open. Ma'am, na-install niyo na po ba yung safe exam browser po? Ha, hindi pa tapos. <laughs> hindi pa, it's still installing. Hindi pa mag-open, ma'am, kasi hindi pa tapos. Ah, okay. So, ganun talaga yon na-download ng bata and then they can open it. Opo. Well, actually, uh, they must have the safe exam browser already yan. installed before taking the mm -hmm. exam. Para, para automatic yun, it's automatic. Yes po, after naman installation, wala na pong magiging problema kasi napakaliit na lang nung file na ida-download nila. 3 kilobytes lamang. Yeah, I actually it's downloaded the file and it says here the quiz is downloaded but I could not open. <laughs> yeah, because the <laughs> it's still installing yung bagal bakit. <laughs> anyway, sige sir, I'll get back at you when, when the, the, ano, the installation po, is done. Thank you. All right. I think it's already 3.03, so I can uh, I will proceed na po with uh, showing you the advanced. And that is, we can set up a safe exam browser such that it will force shut down yung mga um, applications that we don't want them to have access to. So, dun sa sa three attempts, every time ba na mag-a-attempt sila, da-download ulit nila yung file? Yes. Uh, pagka po nag-quit sila, ah, yes sir, kasi kung mag -e exit sila, actually, well, hindi ko pa actually natatry, pero I think, ah, I think, I haven't really tried, pero I think, uh, kung matapos nila yung exam and they have to exit, then they, re they need to re-download a file again. Okay. Nag-gets po? Okay, sir. Thank you. Medyo mabagal po yung download ng server. Ang tagal. Actually po, ma'am, sa ano nyo po yan? Internet connection. Ang tagal eh. Hindi ko siya maumpisan yung exam. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you may want to opt yung second po, yung lower version. That, that is, I think, 64 MB lang. Di ba po, pa, meron pong two versions po. Pag pumunta kayo sa safe exam browser, meron doon yung version 3.01 and then version 2 po ata something. Yung lower ah. version po is 64 MB lamang. Mas maliit. Ah, kasi ito eh, 154? Opo, medyo malaki po. Ah, oh, saan ba yung makikita? Yung no, akin okay, is AB163, ano ba yan? 301? Is that the version that they're talking about? That's the latest version po. That's the one with 154 MB na file size. Uh, okay. Eh, kaya mabagal. Oh, ang tagal. Thank you. Eh, ang... Yun yung nakita. Yung isa po, yung 2.4.1. Yan ang mas mababa, sir. Yes Two, po, yun oh, yung yeah. mas mababa. Pero it will Bali still function. Bali dun sa website... 
Yeah, sa website, mag, ang una nyo makikita ay yung 3.0. Scroll down, makikita nyo sa baba yung 2.4.1. Okay. Sir Josh, okay lang mag-entertain kayo ng question habang nagda-download pa yung iba. Ah, sige po. Ang um, down na po or later? As, uh, yeah, ngayon. Habang ano, while, kasi yung iba nakikita ko still downloading. Baka hindi sila po. makasabay sige doon po. sa demo nyo. Sige so, po. While Going waiting to answer for questions. Um, Ayan. Si Sir Gadi po, ang babasahin niya po yung nasa Sige. chat. Hello, Sir. Gadi. Sir Joshua? Yes, ito, Doc. Ito yung questions. Ang unang question ay, ay yung kay Sir Chris naman, eh, na, 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 nabanggit mo na kanina, no, iOS, at ano lang, ano? Uh, yung question na, can SEB be downloaded? Uh, nasagot mo na yan. Ito, can we use this during the final term? Pero nakita ko sa slide mo kanina, SEB is only for quiz, di ba? Assessments only. Opo. If you're asking po about term, kung kailan siya pwedeng gamitin, pwede naman po siya gamitin ng final term. Yun nga lang, limited yung kanyang use and that is sa quiz assessment. Yes. Yeah. Kasi ang talong po ni Ma'am Salvan ay final term, final exam. So... Pwede po. Yes. For, for the quizzes, right? Ang uh, follow-up niya is, are we going to throw out the window? the wellness considerations based on the IRR for giving a minimum of two to three attempts in taking the quizzes? I think that's not my domain to answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mukhang hindi naman. Uh, hindi <laughs> Gusto pwede ba? Sige, di si Roland po ito. Kasi ano hindi naman na. eh, uh, pwede naman Sir Josh that. na magbigay ng multiple attempts, di ba? Yes po, opo. As per IRR, minimum of two. Pwede pa. Yeah. Yeah. Another one is from still Mom Catherine. I can already hear students complaining about this. What if their primary device cannot download the app? Puno na kasi, how do we allow those who miss the quiz? Yan, magandang question. To, to still take the quiz later on. Ah, sige po. So, yung first question is, how are we going to deal with students Ooh. complaining with uh, the, their device being full? Well, yeah. Eh, di mag yeah. uninstall sila. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mag-uninstall right. sila and they free, they free up their space. Kaya-kaya naman po yun dahil una, yung file naman and yung activity, yung assessment which is summative assessments are only done what? Midterm and finals? So twice? Yeah. So I think hindi naman siya magiging issue kung hindi naman siya gagamitin lagi. So and nasa arrangement po yan and encouragement ng faculty kung paano niya i-sway. How do we allow those who miss the quiz to still take the quiz later on. Madali lang po yan. Sa school book po, allow late. Yeah. From Rosario Reyes, I was trying to install it in my laptop just now, before, pero nag error because of some log problems. I tried it twice, but installation failed twice. I do not know what the problem is. So the students might also ex experience or encounter the same issues. Yes po. Uh, actually, the same experience. I have experienced it for some of my students, even installing in Mac OS, having problems, but they eventually figured it out how. So um, I think I cannot uh, answer it simply now because I don't know the whole situation. Uh, you can email me po or message me here in Teams and I will be glad to help you out. Okay. So, sir, Pilo Garcia, paano po if students more than one attempt? Sorry, sir. Come again. Sorry, sir. Come again po. Garcia po. Paano if students are given more than one attempt? Edi good po. Kasi allowed naman tayo for two attempts, di ba? Sa ano? Yes, sa sir. Final, I mean, sa, quiz, ay, sa enabling ay ano? Yeah, more than one attempt. Kay Ma'am Olive. Ma'am Olive. More ba ang pwedeng type of exam? We cannot use true or false. Matching type or other objective type available in the quiz assessment? Ah, okay. That's a good question. Yes po. Unfortunately, multiple choice question lang siya. You can transform that to true or false by keying in true or false and then keying the other two um, questions pa with other entries. Um, unfortunately, as of now, the current setup is that uh, sa quiz lamang siya nakalagay. So, Po. I think it's on the developer side. We still have to push them if they could um, integrate it to other assessment types as well. Okay. Thank you, sir. 
students who need mo na mag-download yung safe exam browser. Sorry sir, come again please. Yung students po need mo na ma-download yung SEB. Yeah, I think yeah. Yes. Yes sir. Yes. Sir. So, kailangan po, bago po tayo mag midterm exam, and that is, I think, next next week, yeah, we have to uh, tell them to download the uh, software and perhaps could do a, a dry run, a dry run, para less yung ano, um, uh, errors that might occur. Sabi po ni Sir Michael Guyamin, ang guwapong guwapong Michael Guyamin, what if they print the module lesson? They can find they can find ways. What if they print the module or the lesson? They can find ways. Yes, sir. I think we cannot do anything about that. Uh, my suggestion is this: you set up a camera surveillance. That's what we do in Sayat. Um, that those are variables for eh, that we cannot really avoid. It would really fall sa student on their values and kung paan nila ititake yun. So ako, I rest assured na um, I have done my job to uh, at least discourage them from doing unauthorized activities. The rest, I leave up to them. That's their call. Yes, sir. From Olive, Ma'am Olive still, Ma'am Ligaspi, when I open the exam file, ang nakalagay na notice, I need to close the Teams program daw. That's a good, ano po, um, Observation. Yes, po. That's what Safe Exam Browser does. It shuts down some of the.